right questions? You got some new kicks. Yeah, you know. Yeah. What kind of those? Uh, this is the Kyrie Irving shoes. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they won't be clean long. Oh. Um, but you, you talked a lot of this year about um, some of the success you guys have had demonstrating the resilience, the resiliency you've seen out of kids. Mm -hmm. How much does, does Addison kind of personify that with all the kind of injuries and other things he's gone through? Yeah, he, he's a great poster child for it. You know, I, I, we talk about all the time, no conflict, no story. You know, if you don't go through hard times, adversity, and different things, you don't have a great story. Um, of course, you'd like to do it quicker, not as, as long, but um, he's a great example of a, a young man who was playing phenomenally and had injuries and all those types of things. And, and, you know, now it's really three years since he was able to really play at his top speed. And last year, he was coming back and ready to go and get his knee torn. He just persevered and um, just grown, and uh, you know, you're, and we've had to kind of bring him along this year to make sure he was completing. He's, you know, he's starting to come into phenomenal form, and um, he'll have a finish out the year good, and he have a whole another year after that. So it's really good to see. How's Jay doing? Uh, Jay has a concussion. He's going through the whole protocol, and we'll see how that comes about. Is that, could he possibly play this week? Um, it depends on the protocol. Um, it depends on what happens in the next couple of days. There's a possibility. If he's not able to go, you've had Isaiah back there. Would he um, the yeah, there? Isaiah would be the uh, option back there, yes. Okay. Is Tedrick an option back there? I know he was getting some reps there in Baltimore. Uh, Tedrick Thompson? Uh, no, not right now. Are you uh, preparing for something that like Christian McCaffrey is going to be out there? Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. And um, i gone blank on the other guy, number 20. Watch the film on him. He's an uh, excellent runner, too, now. Um, but, you know, Christian, they move everywhere. So, uh, and getting the ball a lot of different places. We're definitely compare, um, preparing for Christian to be there for sure. Let's talk about your cornerbacks. I know they're obviously older. They're, they're coming smaller. after you. So I got to get them quick. Okay. Uh, I know they're older and more experienced, but technically, what are they doing that's better in their pass coverage this year? Well, you know, we, we, they did, you know, decent last year, and, um, you know, they're making plays, that, you know, and then, of course, our receiving core has gotten better. So when your competition and practice every day has gotten better, then you get better. So that's a combination of how that happens. And, um, and so that's, I think they, their competition and practice has made them get a little bit better. And, and then they're older and they're a little stronger and they're not as nervous sometimes and they've seen things over. Um, so I think that, that that helps a lot. And we're, you know, we're getting good pass rush too. And so that's been a big help. How much, obviously those two groups help each other. But how much does that allow you guys to do more things up front when they're covering like they are? The uh, it allows you to uh, do that. You can, uh, you know, we can blitz a little more because they can cover well, um, and then, you know, and then they're doing a good job when we're in when we're not blitzing in coverage. So um, they 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 work hand in hand. You know, it works hand in hand. Mike, after watching the film the other night, how did your defensive line look against that Arizona State running game? They, they did really well. Um, we they did they were very stout in there. Our linebackers fit up. Um, you know, excellent. We had the one play where the ball bounced out where we didn't contain it. Um, that really wasn't the inside's fault. Um, I thought they, I thought they played really well. I was very pleased with how they played. They, they needed a play like that for us to be successful the other night. Has that group gotten better as the years? Yes, they have gotten better. Yeah, they've gotten better, and uh, you know, sometimes the D line kind of everybody has to kind of play themselves into shape. But the D line's the hardest area because in a game it's going fast and having to sprint and come back, sprint and come back, and they're they're. In, better shape and we're able to rotate some guys which helps us um, stay fresher longer. Is this the first time your D-line might match up physically with Stanford since you've been here? I mean, yeah. Size and strength, is this yeah. Time yeah we, we can match up with them we feel like strength and size wise and, and uh, feel, we feel good about that. They're still very good though. What do you think it does for your team mentally when you go out and, and physically play like that against the team? Uh, I think it makes them real, uh, give them confidence that they can play physical, and that's the style we talked about it all week because they were a very physical football team that we need to, um, you know, outmatch. I guess is the best way to say it. They're they're physical because they were going to bring it. We had to one up them, and I feel like we did do that in that game. And we're going to have to definitely do that this Saturday. We have to one up Stanford, and they're going to try to one up us. I mean, they're a physical football team. So they're about as physical as anybody you face in the Pac-12. Right? Yeah, they are. The last year, they were definitely the most physical team we faced up front in the Pac-12. But you guys have only given up two touchdowns before the season. What does that say about your defense? 
Uh, it says a lot. Uh, they're playing really well. You know, and our offense is clicking so well in the state of Colorado. When we play in the state of Colorado, we're clicking so well that our momentum's rolling, and then the, the, def the offense is clicking, and the defense gets to sit there for, you know, three good three minutes and then go back in, and there's not a lot of three and outs and that type of thing, so that's, that's helping our defense stay fresh too. But they've played really well. Any more questions? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.